In this video, I wanna to talk to you about why I always keep my Mondays clear, right? Wherever, wherever possible, I aim to not book anything in the calendar on a Monday. This is something that I've tweaked up in probably the last 12 to 18 months. And uh, I wanna to talk to you about why I think it's so fantastic, the benefits that I've received from it, why I recommend this to all of my clients, um, a, a, a further kind of more advanced version of, of, of bookending your week. Um, and just the general benefits of it all. Okay, it's it's actually Monday morning now. I thought that would be an appropriate time to film it. It is an absolutely ridiculous day today. We're heading into spring, or spring now. Um, weather's warming up. You can kind of feel summer coming in down here on the Gold Coast. And the weather's just crazy, crazy nice. So I thought we'd step out onto the balcony. Before we jump into this one, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Give this video a like if you get any value from it and let me know in the comments. What do you what do you usually do on a Monday, right? How is your Monday look? How do you schedule it currently? And I'd be interested to hear if anyone takes this and runs with it, the difference that you notice, okay? So let me just tell you a little bit of a story and, and rewind the clock for you. Um, we might take a seat down here. When I started working with my mentor, Travis, I heard him say that he really has his business down to the point where he only works three days per week, okay? Now, I'm not at a point where I work three days per week, but in him talking about this, he told me how he always keeps Mondays clear, he always keeps Fridays clear, and he works Tuesday to Thursday. And then on those days, he has certain days for one-to-one -one calls, and he has certain days for group calls with his clients for the different programs and stuff that he runs. And so while I didn't want to go down from you know working five days a week to working three days a week. Um, that's not something that I want to do. I think I'd get bored. I did like the idea of keeping Monday and Friday clear of anything in the calendar and then grouping those calls into certain days. So off the back of that, the way I restructured things was Mondays are always, or 99% of the time, are clear of any bookings, right? Tuesdays and Wednesday mornings, my one-to-one -one windows, Right, so I've got some private clients, I've got some folks in my inner circle. Um, that's the window in my calendar that I do one-to-one -one calls. And what I really have liked about grouping that all together is that you have to be in a certain frame of mind to do that type of consulting, um, where you're really you know, flicking the switch from your business to somebody else's. Uh, and, and they are quite intense, right? They can run for an hour, hour and a half, and you are, you are in the weeds on somebody else's stuff, trying to you know recall all of the strategy and the tactics and things you've tried in the past and, and, and condensing it down for them to give you the best advice possible, right? Um, so they are quite intensive. Um, so those all happen now on a Tuesday and a Wednesday morning for me. Um, and then I have my group call on a Thursday and then I keep Friday clear as well, right? The, uh, the benefits that I've experienced from bookending the week with two clear days. What I really like about having the Monday clear is I can wake up, it's it's nearly eight o'clock. Um, I've just got my second coffee. Um, I'm about to knock out some admin stuff, right? That could be business admin, it could be life admin. Um, we've got an investment thing going on at the moment that I'm looking at that I need to put some time into. A Couple other things on the go. So I can put time into those at the start of the week, get them out of the way. Um, the other thing I can do on a Monday is if I need to create any content that I need to get to my team to you know, load up or schedule, I can knock it out then and there, right? Like this video as well. So it just, it gives me a clear day before the week starts to really, really catch up. And it allows me to prioritize the stuff that I want to get done so that the rest of the week I can just spend with clients and I can spend building the business and these like admin or content things aren't hanging over my head. I can get them done and it's and it's good to go. Likewise, having the Friday clear as much as possible, sometimes some stuff creeps into Fridays, some calls, but as much as possible, having Friday clear has has given me the kind of the, the inverse where we get to the end of the week and I can stop and look and go, okay, well, did I accomplish what I wanted to accomplish? And I've actually got room and bandwidth to make up for anything that I might've missed, uh, to react to anything that might've happened throughout the week that I wanna try to fix. If any new ideas came up, I've got, I've got scope to put into that because I'm not on the phone, I'm not 
you know, working with clients on their business. It's it's about having free and clear room to work on your own, to work on your own things. Uh, the other benefit from a lifestyle perspective um, is we do a bit of we do a bit of travel around around Australia, and, and I think next year that'll probably become a bit more international as well. And so, uh, particularly with the domestic travel, having Monday and Friday clear means that you know it's easier to get away for a long weekend. I can run the business from from wherever I want, but I do like to be in the office. The whole laptop lifestyle thing's a bit funny. Like you'll you'll really want to do it on the road for a little while, but then you'll you'll miss the office and and you know, being comfortable and having your surrounds and all that kind of stuff. So I like really being in the office for my calls and all that kind of stuff. But having the four days, the, the Monday and the Friday clear, if we do want to travel, has given us a lot of flexibility to do that, particularly for the for the domestic travel. So that's been a really, really nice benefit as well. But the main the main thing is having this this whole free day at each end of the week to get done what you need to get done before the client work kicks in, before the kind of midweek mayhem kicks in, um, you know, other things can come up in life and it gives you a lot of clear space to plan the week, reflect on the week, knock out anything so that it's not lingering from the week, catch up if you've missed anything. I just really, really like it as a as a time chunking strategy for business stuff, life stuff, admin stuff, whatever. Uh, it's it served me really, 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 really well. The flow on effect of that is is having those calls grouped in different areas has been really really beneficial as well particularly the one-to-one -one calls because of that certain headspace that you have to be in um, I like getting them done in the same period of time uh, while you're in that headspace as opposed to having like you know one consulting call a day where you're working on your stuff and then you've got to snap out of it and dive into other people's businesses um, and then snap back out of that and back into your stuff I just like having clear day, I can sit down and go, right, today, consulting calls. Let's get them done. I can be in that necessary headspace and we can make it happen. So from all of this, I would encourage you to give it a go if you think that's something that would be beneficial to you. The other things then you can start to build in, you know, social or um, going to the gym around all of that as well. And and if you guys want more content on, on kind of scheduling and, and how I build out my calendar, um, I do it in a little bit of a different way. I typically prioritize like personal life, social life, family, um, going to the gym and stuff first, and then I build the business around it. So it's a little bit, a little bit different, but that's just the way that I like to do it. I worked in corporate for years and was driven by an absolutely mental schedule that was just crazy, 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 crazy busy. So I like to do it this way now. So if you guys want more content on, on scheduling and all that kind of stuff, I'd be, I'd be happy to share it. But I would recommend that you give this a go. The book ending concept, clear days, Monday, Friday. And if you do certain types of calls, group calls, one-to-one -one calls, whatever, see how you might be able to group them into a couple of days while you're in that same headspace. And I think you'll get a lot of benefit from it. I appreciate you hanging out with me in this video today. It's a fantastic day. Sadly, I need to go into the office and get a bit of work done, <laughs> but um, might make it down the beach at some point. It's so, so, so nice. You have a fantastic day. Be sure to head over to www.jacobcarris.com and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.